Hello everyone, Scott here again. Welcome back to the Guilty Pleasure Cinema. I just got out of the Lego Ninjago movie yesterday. This is a lot of fun. Um, the Lego movie last year, or two years ago, was incredible fun, much better than I had any anticipation for. Like I didn't, I didn't know anything about it aside from I heard it's really good. So I went and saw it and it was incredible. Blew me away. Loved everything about it. <coughs> this year's Lego Batman movie, you can click and watch the review for that one. Um, it is also very, very good. I think I like it a bit more because it just gets going faster. And that's how this one works as well. Lego Ninjago really just ramps up super fast. I knew next to nothing about it aside from it's coming out, so I was excited to see it. Lego Ninjago movie is about the story of these teens in the city of Ninjago and a megalomaniacal villain out on a volcano off the coast keeps coming to attack, but these ninjas, think Power Rangers, come in and stop him and it just seems to happen all the time. And then at one point something changes and things go different and it's a hero's journey to recover and save the day. Um, what is typical of Lego movies at this point is... Oh, I don't want to get into spoilers, so stop watching there. I recommend it if you haven't, but okay, spoiler, it's a little spoiler stuff. It's always about family and coming together. I get the pun though, it's Lego, it comes together, that's kind of okay, they're allowed that, I say, you can give them a fair pass, but it's always about family, always about misunderstandings, always about honesty and coming together with that to overcome. And we have three for three with the villains not really being a villain, and Joker's even one of those, so, even though they are the villain. Um, we continue with the idea of it is kids playing with Lego and stuff happens, because the ultimate weapon is a laser pointer, and there's a cat. It's not a Lego cat. It's a cat. It's the best thing. It's Meowthra. It's amazing. The cat's so good. Cutest antagonistic monster ever. It's great. Um, there's so many good lines and little bits. Um, and references. They were in the jungle. We didn't get a Predator reference. I was kind of bummed out about that. But we did get a direct reference from Rambo, First Blood Part 2, when he comes out in the mud and attacks a guy. That scene happens shot for shot. Jackie Chan, who was in this, I didn't, I, like I said, I saw no trailers. He voices Master Wu, who's in a fight, gets his hat knocked off and kicked in the face, and does the kind of rub like Jackie Chan does in his movies. I was like, oh, this is so great. Even the openings were the Shaw Brothers titles. Not not actually, but like Warner Brother versioned. It's it's really good. Um, the music is great. Some of the shots, like as, as Shauna said when we were watching it, um, some of the shots show that these guys have been doing this for a while. Like it's their third kick at the can, she said. Um, cause this is the establishing shots of things coming into the city it was just epic and awesome. It looked really, really good. And the movie's a lot of fun. My main problems, though, is I feel like I've seen this movie before, even though I enjoyed every bit of it and it didn't drag at all. It still is the story of the Lego Batman movie and the Lego movie and The Empire Strikes Back. Not that you can't keep doing these, but when the three Lego movies all pretty much have the same story, come on, guys, let's... Let's branch out a little here, even though it is clearly financially successful for them, so fair enough. Um, the other main problem, though, is there is Lloyd, or Lloyd, as the villain calls him, um, who is the main hero kid I talked about. <clears throat> there is his mom, who's in it like the mom is in like Dark Tower stuff. This character is there. Th th there's more stuff to them, but not really in it much. There's Garmadon, who's the main villain, and they have their, their talk back and forth. Jackie Chan is Master Wu, who's the brother and trains. Then there's five kids. Uh, what was it? Earth, Fire, Water, Ice, and Lloyd. So there's the four the four kids. Zane's a robot, but he's not. That's the joke. Um, Blue is Lightning. Oh yeah, Lightning. So there's five. Uh, lightning, he's a bit of a coward. Uh, the one guy's got fire. I think he's Ray? No. Uh, Naya is the girl with water and is always doing this, and that's that's a bit of the joke. And I forget the other one, but that's the problem. They have these other kids, and they do they do little bits here and there, but they don't really have any bearing on the story at all. Oh, Earth, the guy with his DJ tables. Um, they're fun character bits in the opening, and you look forward to seeing more of them, and you you do. They're there almost the whole time, but they don't do anything. Like they're there's no reason to have these extra five kids there. They don't really serve any purpose. They never have any kind of arc or payoff or growth. 
They're there for some good one-liners, and there's some funny bits there, but that's it. So that's the, a big weakness compared to how well the other movies did with teams of stuff like Unikitty and Batman and Gan, yeah, Gandalf and Wildstyle and Emmett and Bad Cop and all these characters were great. And then Batman, obviously, with the Bat Family. This one, it was this. It's Lloyd and Garmadon. And some cool one-liners now and then from the rest, like little offhand jokes. It's disappointing. Majorly disappointing. And uh, Sensei Wu, of course, too. So, that said, I still really enjoyed it. Probably a four out of five star um, for me. Uh, Lego Batman and Lego Movie are both better. But this is still very good. It's a case of the two priors are this good. The sequel falls short, but it's still above a lot of other things. It's just short compared to two great things. So it's still great, it's just not as great. Make sense? So yeah, absolutely see it. I do. I did like seeing it in the theater, um, but it doesn't need to be. I mean, the 3D is, is what it is. We didn't see it in 3D, but it would have been great 3D stuff. Don't get me wrong. <clears throat> we just wanted to see it before it was out of theater, so we rushed to see that. But that's that. Cyclops Scott here on YouTube, Guilty Player Cinema is the website as well, .com. Forgive me, I'm fighting a headache all day, so I'm, I'm glad to get through these and get these out for everybody. Um, do check out everything there, GPC stuff, I keep saying it, but that's literally, that is the next GPC. With my notes even on it, it says at the top, episode 105, um, it's not episode 105. Woo! So yeah, there we go, um, it's coming. I'm shooting stuff actually in a couple weeks, more stuff, and I plan to have that put together as soon as I can, but I'm not rushing anything because it's going to be a big deal. So check all that stuff out. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.